Thank you very much, Madam Chair, and congratulations to both of you uh, for your nominations. As of last year, 90% of the places in Georgia that are unconnected are in rural communities, and we've already heard a lot about that today. Uh, there's no secret that rural America, rural Georgia, uh, struggles with this issue of connectivity. And, um, you know, as I've said time and time again, uh, broadband is to the 21st century what electricity was in the 20th century. And I think if we think about it in those terms, um, it will uh, sh sharpen the urgency with which we uh, address this issue. Uh, folks in rural Georgia consistently tell me that uh, they don't have adequate internet access and they can't take advantage of distance learning, of telehealth services. I've spent a lot of time with farmers and working with Senator Thune and others to address the issue of precision in agriculture. It's impressive uh, to see what farmers are able to do with these new precision agricultural technologies. We're looking to uh, standardize these technologies so that they can talk to one another. But none of that means anything at all if people can't get online. And so I'm glad that the ReConnect program has provided over $93.5 million to deploy broadband in rural areas of Georgia that lack sufficient access. Dr. Gooden, if confirmed, will you commit to working with me and my colleagues to prioritize an efficient rollout of these broadband development funds to ensure all Georgians have access to a reliable internet connection, help me to understand where that is in your suite of priorities and um, how, how you will help us to get that done. Well, thank you, Senator Warnock. High-speed internet <coughs> is vitally important to rural America. And, and, and I like to say it is not an amenity, it's a necessity. Right. Uh, we see that across the country. And so I fully commit to ensuring uh, that we work with your staff and other members of Congress uh, to uh, make sure that we roll out our ReConnect program and we uh, continue to work with uh, other parts of the federal government, uh, like the uh, Department of Commerce, uh, NTIA, uh, FCC, to make sure that we don't duplicate efforts, but we uh, augment and support each other. So certainly commit to uh, addressing uh, broadband issues across rural America. Yeah. Well, well, thank you for your commitment. It's, it's critical. And um, uh, we've got to uh, remain focused on this issue. And, and reconnect, to be fair, is, is just one component, yes. right, of solving this, this big problem. But uh, all of this new broadband infrastructure doesn't do a bit of good if people can't access it, <clears throat> but also if people can't afford it. Uh, and that's why I was glad to see that the Biden administration uh, requested that Congress provide additional funding for the Affordable Connectivity Program. Uh, we've got to keep those two things, uh, those two priorities um, uh, at the center of our minds, both accessibility uh, and affordability. So I hope, hope we can get those things done. Um, Thank you, thank you, Senator. And, thank you. And thank also you. reliability. I would like to throw in reliability there as well. Absolutely. So affordable, certainly, uh, and, and reliable. I, I, I certainly will agree, will agree with that. 